Hey YouTube, in this video I'm going to show you how to jailbreak an Apple TV, second generation, running on Apple TV software 4.4.4, um, just to show you that that is 4.4.4 on Apple TV software, but, so, here's my Apple TV back there, we're going to unplug it and show you what you need. Alright, so you're going to need a couple things. You're going to need the Apple TV itself. You're going to need Season Pass, which you will be able to find in the description. Down there. Down there. Alright, you're going to need a mini USB adapter, which you'll have to buy off Amazon or like three bucks or I don't know, just buy one. Um, because Apple doesn't supply you with one. And you're probably going to need the power supply for the Apple TV. If you can't get it to go into DFU mode without this, some people can't, some people can. And you're going to need, man, this. You need the remote, the original remote, so you can put it in DFU mode. But anyway, let's get started. Let's plug the thing into the, plug the Apple TV into the PC. Yeah. And plug the other end into the back of the Apple TV. Alright, it's plugged in. And it's blinking. So up here in Season Pass, we're going to hit Create ISPW. Now, I already downloaded it, so it's going to take care of the process now. It's going to batch it and it's going to let it do this stuff. So I'm going to let you guys watch the entire thing, just so you see how long it usually takes. This is, it's just, it should take the same amount of time for everyone. The nice thing about Season Pass is it will automatically download the software you need for your Apple TV. So you, all you do is hit the Create ISPW, and it will download it, and it will start doing all this crap. And then it will give you the instructions to do with your Apple TV, which I'll show you in a moment. We should be almost done now. Alright, so now you, what you're going to do is you're going to take your Apple TV. first way you're going to try it is to do it this way without plugging the power cable into it by taking your remote, aiming it at it, and holding the two buttons.
Alright, so usually that doesn't work, so what we're going to do is we're going to take the power cable and we find it in this mess and plug it into the back of the Apple TV and then we're going to do the same thing again you'll see it'll start to blink and go into DFU mode so then we're going to unplug it and you can see it's continuing to blink in DFU mode now it is updating it and uploading all the crap onto it so this is that's how you do it now we're gonna wait it says would you like iTunes to restore the firmware automatically you can hit yeah so the I the IPSW the the jailbroken one was created now so what we're gonna do is what it does is it put it, it makes iTunes installed on here so if you restore it, it'll download it, but instead of downloading it, we used the jailbroken version, and iTunes puts it on there. So, I mean, that's pretty messed up, but that's how it works. And up there, we got preparing the Apple TV for restore. So now we're going to wait for this crap to happen. So now it's going to prepare it, and you see I still have the thing plugged into the back of it. But I unplugged the power cable once it started to recognize the Apple TV. So the first time I did it without plugging the power in, I've heard that sometimes it'll work that way, but it, most of the time it doesn't. So I'm not completely sure if that is working or not, I would just do the, the way with what I did with the power to get it to work. You plug the power in, then hold the menu in the pause play button on the Apple remote until the the light that is blinking right now starts rapidly blinking. Once it starts doing that, you unplug the power, or you unplug it once the season passes, it detected it in DFU mode, and it'll stay in DFU mode. And then you see up there, we're still we're restoring it right now, so it's, it's successfully working right now. Once it's done, I'm going to get on to, I'm going to plug it into the TV and show you guys what you can, or I'm going to show you that it's jailbroken. I want to make some videos on what you can do with it, but, you know, let's start with getting it jailbroken. Alright, so it's uploaded on here now, now we're waiting verifying Taking a while. All right, here we go. Should be about done. You can see the light stopped. Now it's blinking again. <clears throat> Alright, it says Your Apple TV has been restored to factory settings Please disconnect your Apple TV from your computer And reconnect it to your TV That's exactly what we're going to do Alright, so we're going to unplug it from the bag And We're going to plug the power cable into the bag 
This is kind of hard to do. I'm holding an iPad while doing this. Come on. Dang it. There we go. Found it. Alright. So now, we're going to plug this into it. I don't know if you guys can see this, but... Oh my god, it's driving me insane. Here, let me put it down for a second. There we go. Alright. And uh, it is plugged in. I. Yeah, well, no, that doesn't matter. I'm just show you on the TV. Alright, so it should be coming up any minute. I think. Alright, I'm gonna work. Looks like we don't want to come up. Try this one more time. I'm gonna unplug it and plug it back in now. <clears throat> there we go. Now we're booting up. Pretty sure that was just my fault. Let me get the remote. It's blinking and doing something. There it is. There we go. Alright. Took me a while, but we got it. English. Setting English. We're going to connect to my network. I'm going to cover that up. You guys don't need to see my password. Not that any of you are close to me, but... Now we're activating it. Setting a date and time and stuff. Um, no. Don't send anything to Apple. Alright. So, uh, the way to ch see that you are jailbroken is if you see that down there in the corner. So, that's about it for this video, guys. That's showing you that it's a jailbroken. I'm going to make some more videos on what you can do with a jailbroken Apple TV. Talk to you guys later. I'm out.